Hi, my name is Kim Singh and my pronouns are she, her, hers. And I am a cast member on Vagina Monologues. This year I have two scenes. I'm acting for The Flood, which is one of the scenes where a elderly woman talks about her past experience with squirting and how it basically took a whole toll on her life. And then the second scene I have is a spotlight scene about women's experiences going with going to jail or just being incarcerated in general. So how did I hear about vagina monologues? It's actually really funny. So I was actually picking up a package at my mailing office and I saw this girl with pink, red, vibrant hair. And I really liked it. So I told her, I was like, you have really nice hair. And she was like, oh, thanks. You have a really nice smile. And I was like, oh, thank you. You do too. So we just kept going back and forth with compliments. And her name's Namira. And it turns out she's one of the directors of Vagina Monologues. And she brought it up to me. And I was like, oh, vaginas are awesome. And then I just started spitting out facts about vaginas. And she was like, oh, I actually didn't know that. Would you like to be a cast member on the Vagina Monologues? And I asked about it and I agreed. And then I interviewed, auditioned and all that. And here I am. Hi, I'm Crystal Vianetta, and I am a part of the crew for Vagina Monologues. Our main role is making the backdrops. So we make the entire backdrop for the main event, the big three panel piece, which is our personal painting. But aside from that, we also do little things like move things around. We also do um, promotion by making posters and we do a whole bunch of like artsy fartsy stuff. I joined the Vagina Monologues because I love the message that it stands for. It's all about female empowerment, which I'm very much behind. I identify as a feminist, so I'm very much about educating the world just about like female anatomy as well as just like safe sex and the misinterpretations, like, you know, finding those misinterpretations and turning them into correct interpretations and everything like that. I actually heard about it my freshman year in my dorm. My RA gathered us all together and was like, who wants to go? And I was one of the kids who was like, oh, I wanna go. Like, you know, cause I, I love talking about this. Like I'm very comfortable with the idea of sex and just learning and educating and everything like that. So I really wanted to go. And then in my second year, I brought my friends along. And then my third year, I was like, I finally wanna, I wanna join. I wanna be a part of it. So I got to be a part of crew and I'm very grateful for that. My name is Brittany Bayardo. I'm executive producer of Vagina Monologue. I'm in charge of a lot of the national things and all of our stuff with like ASUCI as a club. So I just mostly do like outreach with um, off-campus stuff. I heard about it my first year. My friend who was a hallmate did it and so she would come back to the dorm a lot and talk about it and then I saw a lot of the experience that she really liked it. And then my second year I saw posting on it for Facebook that they were looking for interns so then I just applied. I think it's a really unique experience that even a male should just really experience because it's a really cohesive group of people who really care about one topic but one topic that embodies so many other things so like when you think of like women you think of like maybe like periods and stuff but there's so many other aspects that I think people don't really look at like they don't really look at like maybe like how a woman starts to love herself because you know society just tells us not to so I think that there's so many aspects that people don't think about and I think it's so important for both genders to realize that there's so many things that maybe they don't consider what that other people experience and just to learn more about everyone's experience I think it's something that people should really do. My name is Norman Zalati and I'm one of the interns for the Vagina Monologues. As an intern I'm basically helping out mainly crew like do posters on creating our set for the Vagina Monologues and promote events through Facebook uh, through any type of social media. I first heard about the Vagina Monologues through my high school uh, teacher, my Spanish teacher's daughter was one of the performers over at Boston University. And then I believe she ended up becoming show uh, showrunner as well. Thankfully, Brittany opened up the doors for me that anyone can be part of Vagina Monologues. You don't have to be female, you don't have to be male, you don't have to be non-binary. It's like it's opened up to everyone. And after seeing it last, last year for Vagina Monologues in 2018. It was an eye-opener because I know some people that's gone through domestic violence, sexual abuse, sexual assault, and I feel as a male, I can help create more awareness about these topics, that it'd be important to help out little by little, even if it's just being part of crew or just as a simple intern at Vagina Monologues. As a male, like in a predominantly 
all-female cast. It's not intimidating. I was never intimidated by it. I just felt comfortable around it. One, thankfully, because my mom has always taught me to respect women, and respect, uh, respect their beliefs, respect their decisions. And then I feel like I was just super comfortable around them. I could easily be myself. And at the same time, I'm always respecting them as if they were my sister, they were my cousin, um, a teacher, whoever they may be. Through the vagina monologues, we get a better understanding of some of the issues that they go through, whether it be a um, gender identification, whether it be a sexual identification, uh, whether it be the themes of domestic violence, whether it be sexual assault. And it's not just, it's not to scare people away, it's more to educate, to inform people that these are the things that happen in our everyday life and it's up to us, not just males, but like females, non-binary, um, or however people identify nowadays to step up to the plate and make some form of a difference.